This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading by Doug Anderson. The Star Bearer by Edmund Clarence Stedman. There were seven angels erst that spanned heaven's roadway out through space, lighting with stars by God's command the fringe of that high place whence plumed beings in their joy, the servitors his thoughts employ, fly ceaselessly. No goodlier band looked upward to his face. There on bright hovering wings that tire never they rested mute, nor of far journeys had desired, nor of the deathless fruit. For in and through each angel's soul all waves of life and knowledge roll, even as to nadir streamed the fire of their torches resolute. They lighted Michael's outpost through where fly the armored brood, and the wintry earth their omens knew of spring's beatitude. Rude folk, ere yet the promise came, gave to their orbs a heathen name, saying how steadfast in men's view the watchful Pleiades stood. All in the solstice of the year, when the sun apace must turn, the seven bright angels gan to hear heaven's twin gates outward yearn. Forth with its light and minstrelly a lordly troop came speeding by, and joyed to see each crescent sphere so gloriously burn. Staying his fearless passage then, the captain of that host spake with strong voice, We bear to men God's gift the uttermost, whereof the oracle and signs sibyl and sages may divine. A star shall blazon in their ken, born with us from your post. This night the heir of heaven's throne a new-born mortal lies, since earth's first morning hath not shown such joy in seraph's eyes. He spake. The least in honor there answered with longing like a prayer, My star, albeit thenceforth unknown, shall light for you earth's skies. Onward the blessed legion swept that angel at the head, where seven of old their station kept, there are six that shine instead. Straight hitherward came troop and star, like some celestial bird afar, and to earth's night the cohort leapt with beauteous wings outspread. Dazzling the east beneath it there, the star gave out its rays, right through the still Judean air the shepherds see it blaze. They see the plume-born heavenly throng, and hear a burst of that high song of which in paradise aware saints count their years but days. For they sang such music as, I deem, in God's chief court of joys, had stayed the flow of the crystal stream and made souls in mid-flight poise. They sang of glory to Him most high, of peace on earth abidingly, and all such delights the which men dream, nor sin nor grief alloys. Breathless the kneeling shepherds heard, charmed from the first rude fear, nor while that music dwelt had stirred were it a month or year. And Mary Mother drank its flow, couched with her babe divine, and lo, ere falls the last ecstatic word, three holy kings draw near. When as the star-led shining train wheeled from their task complete, skyward from over Bethlehem's plain they sped with rapture fleet, and the angel of that orient star, thenceforth where heaven's lordliest star, stands with a harp while Christ doth reign a seraph, near his feet. End of the Starbearer